वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 11.24 सो स्टेटमेंट इज टेकिंग इन टू अकाउंट ओनली द इफेक्ट ऑफ नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस इज डिटरमाइन द स्ट्रेन एनर्जी ऑफ प्रेजमेटिक बीम ए बी फॉर द लोडिंग शोन सो यू कैन सी दिस इज अ कैंटिलीवर बीम ए बी दैट इज एक्टेड अपॉन बाय अ यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड एंड द लेंथ ऑफ बीम इज एल नाउ ड्यू टू दिस नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस इज यू हैव टू फाइंड द स्ट्रेन एनर्जी of the beam ab for this loading so let's start with the solution as we know that uh, strain energy for this uh, bending problems is equal to this capital u is equal to integral of m square into dx divided by 2 ei clear so we will apply this equation in order to find the uh, strain energy for that we need the bending moment clear and for bending moment we will cut the beam over this and we will draw the free body diagram so if i cut the beam over here and draw the free body diagram so definitely at this end there will be a, a shear force and there will be a reaction moment m let the distance which we cut is represented as v clear because this is from the right side point from point b and there are distributed load acting on this portion and this distributed load is w okay and this is point b let this point is point k so we will apply equilibrium condition which what will be the equilibrium condition that sum of all moment about point k is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive now you can see that moment about point k is due to only uh, this load and this load will be acting at a distance of v by 2 and there is external moment as well so their sum must be equal to zero so external moment is uh, we have represented is clockwise so it will be minus and the other moment that is produced due to this load which which will be first converted into concentrated load and it will be w into v and it will be acting at v by 2 and it is producing clockwise moment so it will be also negative so minus w into v into v by 2 their sum must be equal to 0 so from here you will get this moment will be equal to minus 1 over 2 w v square where v is the distance from point b to anywhere you want to cut the section okay now we will apply this equation let this is equation 1 so you have to put the value so total strain energy is equal to integral v start from 0 to total length is l and that is m square it will be e now dx will be replaced by dv because v is the horizontal distance we have taken divided by 2e i okay so we will put the value 0 to l and m square is minus 1 over 2 w v square whole square divided by 2 e i into dv so u will become equal to this 1 over 2 i will be outside of the integral because these are the constant so integral of 0 to l and that will be equal to uh, 1 over 4 into w square v power 4 into dv also we will take out this w 1 over 4 into w so it will be equal to 1 over 8 ei into w 2 w square so integral of 0 to l v power 4 into dv okay 
if you further simplify it you will get u is equal to w square over 8 e i and integral of v4 into d4 is v5 over 5 and limit will be from 0 to l okay w square over 8 e i multiply by 5 and we will left with v5 over from 0 to l u will become equal to w square over 8 5 40 e i and we will apply limit it will be first v will be replaced by 5 so l5 minus l power 0 so it will give you w square into l5 divided by 40 e i so this is the total strain energy for the loading shown on the beam now if you have value of w l e and i you can put it and you get can get the numerical value of this total strain energy i hope you have enjoyed this video keep watching and supporting me and also share it among your community thank you